This quickie intro is wrong. There is a very powerful logical approach that Wu's insist on being a fallacy, but it isn't. It's called reductio ad absurdum, or proof by absurdity, also called an argument by contradiction. The idea is that you prove something wrong by trying to prove it right and getting an absurd result. Since the result is absurd, the proposition must be absurd. This is not a fallacy. The fallacy Wu's claim this is, is actually appeal to ridicule. The logic for reductio ad absurdum is, if not A, then B, not B, therefore not not A, therefore A. Here's the quintessential example. We'll prove the square root of 2 is irrational by attempting to prove that it's rational. So if the square root of 2 is rational, then by definition, it can be expressed as a fraction p over q, where p and q are integers with no common factors. Square it, and p squared over q squared equals 2. Or in other words, p squared equals 2q squared, meaning that p squared is even, therefore p is even. So we can set p is equal to 2r, where r is an integer. Substituting, we see that 2 is 4r squared over q squared. So 2q squared equals 4r squared. So q squared equals 2r squared. So q squared is even, so q is even. So q equals 2s, where s is an integer. So basically we've determined that the square root of 2 must be 2r over 2s, but cannot be r over s even though those two fractions are equivalent. If you still don't see the contradiction, do the same thing again with r over s, and you'll see that they both must be even, which means that they must be two times even numbers, and then those numbers must be two times even numbers, and so on to infinity. The fraction can never reduce. The only logical conclusion is that the square root of two cannot be written as a fraction, meaning it must be irrational. You can also use this technique to prove the Pythagorean theorem, the inefficacy of prayer, the absurdity of universal selflessness, and why socialism can never create wealth. Never make the mistake of thinking this is a fallacy again.